and we gave them an authorization to construct those works that will be able to abstract 3,327 cubic meters per day for irrigation purposes. The authorization had conditions. Two of them. The first one was that uh, everywhere in this country, irrigation water is flood, flood flow. So you wait until it rains and you abstract that, that water and you put it somewhere. So we had told them to construct adequate storage to cover their growing season need during the dry season. And then the other one is that they should put some uh, control, controlling and uh, measuring system in the river so that we can be able to know the exact amount of water that is being constructed. After they have done that, then they were to bring us a completion certificate and it's on that basis then we issue a water use permit. Now as we are talking, they have not brought in the uh, completion certificate. So they have no permit to use water. However, they are still using, we, we are still releasing the 3,327 uh, 3, cubic meters per day to the irrigation scheme. They are using it, although they don't have a permit. First of all, it is at a point downstream of the intake point for the irrigation scheme. So it cannot in any way interfere with the amount of water going to the farmers. Secondly, hydropower production does not, uh, how do I put it, turn the thing. It turns the turbines and it returns into the river. So it cannot interfere. How do they come into this picture in terms of the quarrels which are happening? They are concerned that if we allow a lot of water going to the irrigation scheme, then there will be no water going downstream for them for their hydropower uh, production and that's why they are concerned we gave them the authorization they have it but they have also not completed so as we are talking they are not using any water at all so that is basically the situation on the ground um, why do we seem to have a problem with the irrigation scheme it is a design issue the designers designed the system to take all the water from the river until they have enough, then it goes back. <coughs> and sometimes in August uh, this year, the CEO visited the area and he would not understand why we seem to have a problem. And he said, open the system completely. And it was opened. When it was opened completely, they were abstracting 19,927 cubic meters per day, which is almost seven times what they had applied for. When it was uh, opened like that, the river dried up. So two challenges now which emerge. One is the constitutional requirement that as a national government, we must maintain the residual flow. That is in the constitution, uh, Schedule 4, Part 1, Section 22. We must maintain the residual flow. So if we opened the system the way they are put it, then we would not be able to maintain the flow. That is one. The other one is the practical aspect. If the river dries, then downstream people would come demanding for their water. So uh, to sort out this problem, we have uh, asked them to re- construct the system such a way that it can automatically allow residual flow to flow as they construct. Now that is the work of National Education Board and we have agreed with them that they are going to raise the heat and wear to a level whereby it can be able to give water, to, to leave water going into the stream without drying it. Um, if this is done then there will be no problem. A question uh, you lead yeah. of being used by her political opponents to, prog to propagate her downfall. 
What do you have to say about that? As an institution, we are governed by the Water Resources Management Board. We do not respond to other people's wishes. We determine applications which were made to us. The irrigation scheme applied for a certain amount of water. And that is the water we are releasing to them. So we are not in any way uh, interfering with anybody's work. Uh, when the Minister of Agriculture was here the other day, yes. uh, it looks like he was not well before he goes the other day. We, even as the Minister was saying the water should be opened up, the water was still flowing. I'm talking about the water which was applied for 3,327 cubic meters per day. It was flowing as it is flowing today. So if they want some more water, then they have to make a, uh, an application for additional water, which we must also consider and give some conditions which will be able to <coughs> make sure that we do not have uh, the reserve flow violated. So that water has always been flowing. They applied and, in 2010. And how is well, the, happening? For them, how is it? And then, eh, how, how is the progress of the construction of the dam that they uh, are able to get to the required amount of water? They have not done the works because basically their argument is that if the irrigation scheme is uh, allowed to take all the water from the river, then they will have no water to run their turbines. And so they have been insisting on getting confirmation from Wama that will not give all the water to them. So they have not done any work. Okay. Yeah, what is the advice that you would give to the patron, and the farmers who are benefiting from that irrigation system? Two advices. One is to reconstruct the, the intake system so that it can allow residual flow to flow throughout without being controlled. The second one is for them to construct storage that they can store during the rainy season and the use during the dry season. Because the water for irrigation is not from the river when it is dry. You need to store your water and use it during that time. And you can imagine if we had about 10 of them, and this is a very small uh, yeah. river, I mean, the river will be dry. Yeah. And there are still frogs there, there are still animals. There are those people who do not have piped water schemes. They want to go to the river and find the water there. So for irrigation, and I think this is an appeal I'm making to anybody in this country. If you're looking at irrigation, you must look at possibilities of you storing your water. Because it isn't there during the normal phase. Excuse me. Before carrying out such a project, is it one a person should give advice? Or uh, is there a provision that they, uh, an advice is, is supposed to be set from them? And did you give a, 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 a advice before the, the implementation of the project? We, we receive applications from people. They say, look, we want to irrigate so many hectares of land here and we want to grow that. Then from there we are able to calculate the amount of water they would need. On that basis, then we give them authorization. That's why I talked about an authorization. This authorization for them to be able to get that amount of water has got those conditions. And that's why we said construct storage so that you can abstract water during the dry season and store it for your for your use. Now, they have not done that. And the water is not permitted. Although they are using it, it is not permitted. So they have not fulfilled the conditions which we gave them with the organization. Yes, in our processing of the application, we have that opportunity. And we give very elaborate uh, conditions which will make sure that your usage of water will not interfere with others. Mm -hmm.